Hey, what's up guys, it's P9 back at it again and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be, well, a little bit different. As you know, I got raided two times already and one of them was even griefed. I never knew exactly who raided it, but after playing too much Among Us recently, I tried to put all the pieces together. So the facts are, both of the raids happened right after I was done recording the episodes and went off the server. I'm pretty sure this wasn't a coincidence as it made it too easy for them to raid it while I'm being offline. After logging on to record a new video, which is the episode 4, I noticed something strange. Between two times I logged in the server to loot, I spotted major improvements on a specific base close to Junction. And that was only a few hours apart. I also spotted a SWAT truck, which wasn't there before. So that got me thinking. At that point, I could confirm that whoever owns this base is one of the more active players. The thing is, at the time there was only a few people very active, and one of them being exactly this guy. It's the same guy that fought us in Junction. All the PvP I had against them was only around Junction. It's the same guy that knew where my base was, because after I killed him and TP'd back to my home, they knocked on my door just a minute later, even though my base is quite far from theirs. There's someone here. Wait. Wait. Oh no. Are you the guy that I just killed? Yeah. Hey, what are they what are you doing dude these guys were toxic and trashed her quite a lot and didn't want to stop coming to my base at all and then i remembered when i locked off in my old base the exact same guy was one of the two only people that were still remaining in the server when i went off just hours before it got raided and griefed at that point i was sure it must have been them they knew the exact positions of both the bases because of the videos i uploaded and waited both times for me to get off the question was was that metal base near junction theirs or was it maybe just a huge coincidence so what i did is i went on the server once again when there's only two other guys online him and a random i have not seen there before i then asked the guy to why he raided me and he replied that it wasn't them it was the quote unquote guys with the helicopter which was an obvious troll especially because i didn't see any of those online for days i then asked him again where's your base and he replied, it is near the mall. So I was sure he wouldn't just give me his actual base location, but it got me thinking, is his base actually near mall and it was all just a huge coincidence? What I needed was proof of this being his base. What I did then was laying right next to his base and leaving my recording on. I then went afk to do something else and after about half an hour I came back to a death screen. I died to starvation. But I still had that recording. I then went ahead and checked the recording and I could not believe what I found. So here's a clip of me laying next to this base. This clip is exactly 33 minutes and 29 seconds long. If we now extend the audio track here and increase the volume, we can now see everything that is going on in that clip. All of this noise here is just the background noise that you can hear during the day and unturned. This huge thing here is the sirens that went on when the blood moon started. And then almost exactly in the middle of this clip, at around 16 minutes and 44 seconds, we have this little thing, which is the final proof of this being exactly their base. We can hear someone munching in the base. And this is literally all this entire video is about. More than half an hour of footage and all it took for them to expose their base is someone eating. So then I thought, hmm, so is it really their base? Does it really mean it is their base? Because there could be just someone else eating, right? But no, it can't. Because if it was someone else at random that maybe would walk by or just maybe spawn there, you would hear steps before or after. But as you can clearly see, there's no steps after or before at all. That means that whoever was in this base had to get in this base without really moving. And there is a slash home command on the server, which he then used. By the time I came back, he was also off the server, which makes complete sense since after he was done looting, he TP'd back to his home, stored all the items without really moving and logged off. So here we are. I know who raided me and I know where his base is. And since he was offline already by the time I came back, I did them just as dirty as they did me. Me. I raided them as soon as they went off the server. I did not want to give them the satisfaction of knowing they had a chance to defend their base at all. I wanted them to log into the server and get the same feeling seeing all their loot gone, as they have made me feel two times already. Alright, there we go. 
This is their base. 4x4 full metal base. They are starting to honeycomb it, but didn't get the roof completely yet. I would probably go uh, for the roof here and offline rate them just like they offline rated me twice in a row. This can take a while. Oh, I'm through. Finally, only took that many bullets here. <laughs> um, we have a five lockers here. The rest is just doors and stuff. Uh, might be more loot rooms. I'm not sure. Um, let me go for that door first. Oh, there we go. Finally, it only took that many bullets to get through a roof and through a door. That's nice to know. Uh, yeah, I can jump up again. That's fine. Is there a sentry here? No, there's no sentry. Okay, it was a good decision to go through here. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? They left the door open. Why did they leave it open? Oh my god. Okay, these guys, they are gonna regret messing with me. Well, the thing is, you cannot sell magazines and there's no way in hell I will need that many. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just let every single one despawn. Basically because um, of them being toxic, of them trash talking, of them calling me a pussy streamer, of them literally raiding me as soon as I go offline for a couple hours. Not even having the balls to just life raid me. There we go. This should be everything. That is a huge container, by the way. I didn't expect it to be that big. There's a quite uh, some lockers. I don't know if I can craft a C4, an explosive at home. I'll have to see if I have all components, though. And I'll be back. All right, components and one plastic explosive. That is the first time I craft a plastic explosive on this map. Really cool. All right, I'm also going to bring my big boy gun with me just in case we need some more and we will definitely need more ammo and a bunch of high cal. Yeah, I have more than enough. This should be it. All right, let's go. All right, there we go. We're back at the base. Let me climb up. Thanks for leaving your car like this, by the way. Allowing people to just jump up your base, making it easier for them. That's very smart. I'll just go for... Actually, I'll go for that one first. Oh my god, let's see how this is going to turn out. Please tell me a lot of lockers will explode. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. Quite oh, oh my god. Three mystery boxes. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, that is... Okay, 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 okay. They have so much. All those nades I'm going to take. MREs I'm going to take. Actually, I need some milk right now, so I'm going to take that. Parachute just flew over here. Uh, the sentry, I don't really need that, but um, I'm going to take everything I need. And before I even bother continuing, I'm going to go straight to the safe zone and sell everything first. The base is here, and I can get to the safe zone right over here, which is pretty, pretty close. I can't believe they had three mystery chests, so I'm guessing they didn't have access to the safe zone yet, which is just weird, which is just really, really weird. They had... Because they just had so much stuff, right? Right, take all those military backpacks. That is 6,000 has already just for those. Then the two parachutes for 1,500 each. All right, having almost a full inventory. Let's open the mystery chests. I'm just going to drop everything I have here. Just so I can see what we get. The first one. Ooh, a heat wave again. The second one. Another heat wave and 100 high cal ammo bots. And the third one, another heat wave. Are you kidding me? Wait, what are what are the actual odds of getting a heat wave though? <laughs> That's insane, dude. That's insane. Okay, yeah, I definitely made profit already from that rate. For now, for now, we don't know what else is uh, coming. All right, everything sorted out for now. Let's go back for more juice loot. All right, we back. I put the attachments of my rifle onto this gun here. Uh, these lockers should be damaged from the charge. Ooh, duct tape. I could always need duct tape. Oh, there's even more here. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, actually, I want to see what's in there. Is that just honeycomb? Though those are more rooms here everywhere. Uh, this is probably the door at the entrance. Ooh, some guns. Uh, a pog. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna pick them all up just to scrap them. Have to make sure I don't accidentally scrap this one. Um, because, um, 
Yeah, just because I can. They do have a banner somewhere, like a claim flag. Hmm, this is a bit more quiet. I put a suppressor on the gun now. Oh, some ammo. Okay, nice. But not the kind of ammo I need for this raid. Ooh, generators. Huh? Night visions. That is easy money. Attachments. That's easy money right there. I'm gonna put all these generators in here for now. Because uh, I, have a, I, have a, I have a plan. Items are glitched here. Uh, this is also probably gonna get glitched. Let's see. I have enough refill boxes. I have enough. Do not worry. I wanna see what's in there. I'm kind of curious. Just making sure it's not a sentry and I'm dead, literally. Oh, it takes quite a bit to get through. Yeah, quite a bit. Hmm, quite a lot. Another storage, okay. This is some oh, some rubber. Nice rubber you have there, buddy. Too bad if someone would just let everything despawn, right? I'm guessing this is another one of those, and this is another one of those. I'm gonna destroy one of these to see what they have here. That might be some good stuff. Um, a tusk. Well, yeah, I can sell that one. Let me see. Another tusk, a backpack, more hiker, there we go, some hiker please, that wouldn't be too bad, uh, it's getting worse and worse, oh come on, I'll just finish it, I already started it, So the banner is going to be in one of those um, honeycombed walls then, for sure. I don't know uh, how many shots it takes to destroy this thing here, but I'm just going to go for it. Just for the sake of them not having the, the gun anymore. What's that barrel actually? Oh, it's almost full. Wait, that was profit and they didn't even take that many shots. Yo, what is that? Oh, they put a heavy barrel on it. Let me go for this one then. Oh, this is loud. This is too loud. <laughs> too loud for my taste. I have to get this open and there's gonna be another one of those huge crates I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I have a few more sniper shots here. This is 50% uh, structure damage, the task. So I don't think we'll get through quite yet. But I'll be back. Okay, I have 100 rounds in this one. And then I have more high kill here. I'll just take everything, I think. This should be good. Get in here. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, thank you very, very, very much. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Yo, appreciate it, guys. Appreciate you taking care of my base. Yo, that's so nice of you guys. That is so nice of you. I actually did forget to drop all of those just to let them despawn. I'm gonna do that soon. Last one. Another big crate. Ooh, okay. We have some stocks. We have some more things to sell. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I guess the craziest thing was those three mysterious crates. Let me break this one and see what they had behind the door. Behind the double door. But I 
mainly wanted to destroy this one as well. I just wanted to destroy everything I can. I like popped out. Craft some of those metal roofs because I need them for my base. Let me see how much these uh, creates time. Shouldn't be too much. Alright, yeah, that's worth it. To grief them just like they griefed me. Worth the ammunition. I will leave the metal structures in here for now. I'll then go to the safe zone because it's closer than my base. I'll then come back, take everything I need and then go back to my base. And I just realized I can't get out of this base so I have to go to my home first anyways. I can put some of those here. Right there. I guess whatever man, whatever. Got us here, here. Going to replace the entire roof with metal as well now. All those metal structure, that is so kind of you guys. Okay, I'm now going to take everything with me, everything I got from this raid. The items I stored in here earlier, everything that we can basically go and sell. Moving straight back to the safe zone to sell all the items I just got. A bunch of sights and grips there. And then the military backpacks for 1k each. Three night visions for 1k each and one normal night vision. Literally have 10,000 NAS on me right now and there's still NAS in the base. The jackhammer for 1,000 as well. And this is what I made in NAS in this raid. Each of those is 5,000, so that's 15,000. Each of those is 1,000. Those are 6, so this is 21,000. 250 NAS. That is crazy. On total, I have almost 50,000 NAS now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to not miss out on new content. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. It's the first link in the description, twitch.tv slash p9nda, and where I stream almost daily. Come by, say hi, and tell me how you liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.